Caribbean culture will be on full display in Brooklyn tomorrow. Millions are expected on Eastern Parkway in Brooklyn tomorrow for the biggest North American parade, the annual West Indian American Day Carnival. Former U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell is among the Grand Marshals for the event, which is set to get on the way at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Skimpy costumes and sweet Caribbean music along with the tastes and smells of the Caribbean foods are expected to take over the multi-block parade. For viewers planning on attending, it is encouraged to get to the parkway early to avoid the hassles and to secure a good viewing spot. A Jamaican-born accused drug dealer has been indicted in a New York court. Michael Christopher Koch has been indicted on charges of conspiracy to distribute marijuana and cocaine, according to court records obtained by Carib World News. Koch has controlled the Tivoli Gardens area, a neighborhood in inner-city Kingston, Jamaica, and members of his organization are known as the Shower Posse and also as the Presidential Click. That's according to the indictment. Koch now faces extradition to the United States to answer the charges. Beijing Grammy Award-winning star Rihanna seems to have taken her top off for Italian Vogue. The singer appears wearing only small nipple covers, edgy underwear, high boots and a coat in one of the shots posted online. Rihanna was shot by photographer Stephen Klein and the photos will appear in a couture supplement that goes with the issue. The man credited with founding some of dancehall music's signature sounds is dead. Wyclef Steely Johnson of Steely and Clive Brownie fame passed away this week at a New York hospital after suffering from pneumonia. Johnson started his career as the original keyboard player with the Roots Riddick's band and is credited for signature sounds like the Punani rhythm, the Street Sweeper rhythm, and the Skettel among others. He was also part of the genius behind dancehall classics like Shabba's Thingaling twice my age, among others. And in sports, talks between the West Indies players and its board has broken down again. Guyana President Barra Jagdew this week expressed disappointment over the failure of the two sides to reach an agreement in their contract dispute. Jagdew had brokered a mediation deal between the two sides in July, with CARICOM putting Sir Shrivdat Ramphal in charge as the mediator in hopes that the two sides would reach some agreement. The two sides have been at loggerheads in the recent months, and the West Indies board recently picked a B-rate team to play in back-to-back -back matches over the senior squad. For more Caribbean news, log on to caribworldnews.com for your daily updates. And that concludes our News of the Week.